drinking alcohol, bar hopping, gambling, staying up past two in the morning, strip teasing, rolling and smoking a joint. These things in Brunei you cannot do. Ride a tuk tuk, flirt with the cab driver, get get molded by by batik. These things in Malaysia you can do. But can a Buddhist taxi driver fall in love with a Muslim princess? Wearing sandals, shorts at a nice restaurant. For men to hit on women, these things in Malaysia you cannot do. So the taxi driver preferred to be in love and became a citizen of Australia. Riding a roller coaster, watching Black Hawk Down at the cinema, point with your thumb, <coughs> eating steak at the mall restaurant, listen to the bats a quarter of a mile away, have dessert at the coffee and tea bean, get made over like a princess. These things in Brunei you can do, including getting asked out by the cute waiter to wait till he's off work to bring your passport to Malaysia. Boy, dreams of pink, pretty pony, red Corvette, brat snap, roller skating, pigtail, metal drama, dash upon the jagged rocks of tragedy season finale. A boy, not a cute little girl, sugar and spice and everything nice as I had hoped for, wished for, pleaded, dreaded. But a boy, spiders and snails and puppy dog tails, the loud crash of yellow Tonka trucks against the grain of unshaved outlaw American chopper G.I. Joe rejects. My katana bladed egoism gently rattling its own sheath. No slow estrogen drip, but a perpetual testosterone lockdown. Prison guards at the ready, the sniper stealthy backhanded comments to obscene obligations. What to do? How to react? I don't smoke anymore, so tar-infested infectious cancer cramping my being and stuffing me out won't do. I don't drink as much as I should. Rocket-ready shot glass inhalation flaming Dr. Pepper blues. I don't fuck with the lights on. Age blaring its annoying rap rock hip-hop failure illuminating all my flawed perseverance in Sean John Biggie small flaccid frustration. I don't believe in ghosts that haunt at every chance they get to exhume my beliefs in nostalgia. Red hair, black soul girl as mad as birds. So a black plath gas house vindication. I don't pray to one nation under intelligent design with liberty and justice for none, infidels excluded. Crucified satanic embolisms in my pagan blood. God Magog, God Magog, God Magog. Armageddon hasn't done its job. I don't listen to shitty music anymore. The stagnant late 90s ghetto trash R&B philosophy. Whatever happened to the Afghan wigs or medicine, the cranes, Fugazi? Yeah! yeah. I blinded and single spice, girly, Q-tip, ushered in sensitivity. I don't support the war because colors run, colors fade, and oil slicks. And I don't expect you to give a shit because the society is self-serving, no longer self-serve. So expect to pay more at the pump. So I got a boy to endanger our endless excuses, subjugate justice, jeopardize the civilized hypocrisy spotted due to age, fang, bare dissolution, the only absolution in absence, a boy to annihilate the flag of fundamentalism, bring back free thought to the thoughtless tyranny of tentacle terrorism, conservatism, this brutal display of power and overpower the chauvinistic cock-headed monarchy of male theocracy, because God is gay, and there ain't no other way. A boy that will emit poetry with every thought, make the world fall in love with him, his words, his truths, by merely uttering a stanza, a verse, a canto, about slow memory immortalizing red lip reverie, heartbeats flown from eyeless adoration to never speak of love now lost, but of hope in his valiant heart and his fearless stand against inequality, intolerance, bigotry, discrimination, racism, injustice, hatred, prejudice, fanaticism, and disparity. A boy to carry on my revered razor-sharp katana of justice and integrity and honesty in its sacred scabbard of altruism, unselfishness, self-sacrifice, and humanity. A boy cloaked in a hero's finest moment because with great power comes great responsibility. Honor his emblem, hope in his eyes, and love in his heart. A boy that will become a man in his time that will become a legend in his own right, that will live on long after this old wolf has breathed his last, and will live, and will be, and become the lone wolf, to teach his cub how to hunt, how to exist, how to survive. Yeah.